Let's talk about the tropics here across the Atlantic, because right now we don't have anything uh, developing in the next seven days, according to the National Hurricane Center. But there are a few areas we're, we're of course, keeping a very close eye on. First, starting in with this area, actually across the Midwest. Yeah, you see that convection out here? Now, that is bringing some severe weather, but it is going to be sending up a trough that's going to drift down towards the south over the first coast and really just off of the east coast of the Atlantic as we will head in the next week, which some guidance kind of showing something there meanwhile we have another tropical wave out over the main formation region in the atlantic now there is a lot of dryer involved in this and i'm not terribly concerned about it developing but there is something of note if you take a look at the extended outlook now this is the ecmwf just showing you pressure simply put it is pressure friday heading into saturday over towards sunday and you see these areas in green indicating high pressure so if anything did want to develop it would probably be tracking along like this but watch this as we go ahead in the next week sunday over towards monday that ridge starts to break down so even if we had a wave here it could bring some energy back off towards the north and west closer to the florida peninsula something to watch out for at the very least with that ridge breaking down it does lend more uh, credibility to some of the guidance like right here showing something off of our east coast and maybe a broad area of low pressure the point is there are some signs coming together for maybe something out there east of Florida. And in fact, taking a look actually at the Climate Prediction Center now, not just the second over to the third, but this is showing about the fourth to the seventh. They're saying a low chance of something developing uh, over Florida, probably just east of Florida. Now, when I say low, I mean less than 20 percent. This is more or less. Um, this is not the NHC either. This is the Climate Prediction Center. So they look at a more broader range of factors here and they're they're basically saying here hey there's going to be some ingredients coming together one warmer sea surface temperatures you have that big trough setting up the high pressure ridge weakening towards our east are all going to be coming together and bringing that potential of something developing sometime within that time frame that's the big point. And you can see here that front set up. Now, with this front, I do want to note for our friends on the first coast here around Jacksonville, yeah, we're going to be looking at an increase in rainfall, thunderstorms pretty much all weekend because that's lingering in the area. I did mention briefly the sea surface temperatures are well above what we need for tropical development, so always monitoring that. And this time of year where I did show you that tropical wave and also over towards the Gulf and into the Caribbean, that's where we're starting to look for the potential of development as we head into the month of August. So some Multiple factors are there, but what we need is the initialization and area of convection to kind of form up in the first place before we start talking about anything significant. So for the time being, the NHC says there's nothing out there, at least over the upcoming week. But as it just shows you, there's some factors that are going to make things interesting heading throughout our upcoming week. We're also heading into the peak of hurricane season, August. Uh, peak is really in September, but <clears throat> things are, are going to be stepping up here over the upcoming week so uh, to say that we should be monitoring an area really we should just be monitoring the entire atlantic so yeah anyways i'm meteorologist robert spetta this is first coast news update here make sure you check out hurricane central for more information